Today I think we're just going to have a look at my uh, car and uh, in a little bit of detail. It's a 66 convertible and um, back in 1966 it was a little different when you went down to the friendly Ford dealer to go and buy a new car because what they, you said I want a Mustang convertible, they'd plonk an order form down in front of you and for $2,600 you could drive away in a Mustang convertible. However, that was a six cylinder with a three speed manual gearbox. But I mean, hey, you want a V8, don't you? Of course. Cool. So then you had to start ticking boxes and they had a whole, they had something like 70 different options on the order form. Can you wow. believe that? Today you just get a car and it's the GL or the GLS mm. and you take what you get. Where in those mm. days you could literally customize the car to exactly how you wanted it to turn out. So the first thing you tick is V8 engine. That would cost you like $105. You want mm. a four-speed manual box, $180. So it went on. Even things like uh, reversing lights were an oh, optional yeah. extra, all of $5 or so, but mm. you had to tick the box, otherwise you didn't get it. This car was upgraded with the Cobra performance kit, which was available from your dealer. So let's take a closer look at that. So this is the original 289 cubic inch, that's about 4.7 litre V8 engine, which would have come from the factory with around 200 horsepower. If you go down to the dealer, you could buy the Cobra performance kit, which consisted of the chrome air cleaner, four barrel Autolite carburetor, the four barrel intake manifold, and the dress up items, including the uh, rocker covers, which are made of aluminium. By the time you've added all that, you're sitting with a car that was virtually $1,000 more than what the original car cost. How much horsepower gain were you looking at? Well, they, I, I estimate around about 80 horsepower, depending on the state of oh. tune. So you went from 200 to about 280 horsepower for your That's upgrade That's quite significant. Set. Only 10% of Mustangs ever came with a, a manual gearbox. Well, this, this particular car is on the sporty side. It's got disc brakes, uh, it's got manual steering, and it's got, um, there's, there's no power assist for the brakes or the steering. And okay. the clutch is pretty heavy as well. What you see here today is pretty much what you would see in 1966. There's, there's no aftermarket stuff here that from the 1980s or 1990s. This is okay. all, call it vintage, old right. school performance. The Mustang really, especially the first ones that came out like, like yours, uh, really have more of a petite kind of shape to it. They're not as big or as, uh, as cumbersome. And Lee Iacocca foresaw something that was a smaller, sportier car. Right. Um, in, and created a whole new market segment, which was then, it took uh, Chevrolet and Chrysler to another two, three years to, to be able to catch up with the Camaro and the uh, Cuda. You know, they made 2,000 of these cars a day. They were mass produced cars, so don't expect, so, you know, perfect shut lines yeah. on the panel gaps and things like that. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they made a lot of these cars. So our local Ford dealer, Kelford Motors, have got a brand new 2021 Mustang convertible on the showroom floor, and they've invited us to go down and take a look. So why don't we go and check it out? That sounds like a swell idea. Great. How's it going, How's Ashley? Good to see you. Alex. Good to see you. Good to see you too. All right, so today we have the privilege of joining Ashley at Calford's today to come and look at the new 2021 Ford Mustang GT. Great, yeah. Ford Mustang in South Africa hasn't been sold here for the past 50 years. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to getting into all the idiosyncrasies of the new car. Awesome, happy to show you guys around.
is the new model. This is the 2021 Mustang, 5 litre soft top with all new gearbox of the 10 speed automatic. So when we take it for a drive, you're going to thoroughly enjoy it. The kilowatt is now upped on this vehicle. So now you're sitting with 330 kilowatts, 529 Newton meters of yes, torque. Yes, the V8 naturally aspirated. Oh, this thing's amazing. You'll hear it now when, it's, uh, when we start it up as well. So it has a, uh, a valve in the exhaust. Correct. That you can change the, the exhaust note, the base note changes as well, depending on the, the driving style that you, that you want to enjoy. Come inside. Oh, nice. And see the changes that's oh. been made. So I really like the, uh, the running board over here. The Mustang definitely reminds you what you're, uh, what you're getting into. Wow, it's a nice view sitting inside the Mustang. You've got a really well bolstered seat as well. It's the first thing I'm noticing. Really nice, chunky, thick steering wheel. Nice big solid door there for yeah, you. Yeah, that's it. What do you think so far, Alex? Well, I'm really enjoying the whole retro vibe I'm getting out of this car. There's so many things in this car that just really screams that 60s kind of vibe. Yeah. Uh, the big thing is, is the chrome accents in the car. And what's really grabbing my attention, I know it's a small feature, are these switches over here. I've, I recognize them from the 2005 Ford GT and I, I like the sort of racing Lamar inspiration that, yes. that comes from. Keeping attention their to performance detail. history, yeah, that's it. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the car in quiet mode. All right. So hit the pony for me there. Now go with your toggles over there, go one down, press right. OK, toggle up, press OK, there now it's in quiet mode. Oh wow, that's quite a significant change. So now I'm going to flick through here, you've got a few driving modes, so currently right. we're in normal. So if you keep your eye on the dashboard, you'll see how it actually changes. So now we're going to go through the settings, but now you've got Sports Plus. This basically just enhances your gearbox as also with your revs. So instead of changing the revs at about 1,500 to 2,000 RPM, right. it'll, it'll take it up to 3,000, 4,000 depending on your throttle response. We flick it again, we go to track mode, obviously it's going to give you a warning, this is for track racing. And if I flick it again, you've got the drag strips. The nice thing with the Mustang is it's got a feature called line lock, but we'll take you through that just now, although we won't be testing that function, to warm up your back wheels, specifically for drag racing. Oh, because wow. we're in Cape Town, you need to have snow and wet, so this now will obviously reduce your throttle response. So if you're pulling away from a uh, traffic light and you by accident hit the throttle, the vehicle won't just shoot forward, it will actually limit right. the power that goes through this. The system. So you literally got a nanny driving with you and she tells you what to do. Another thing that's uh, really interesting about this car is its gearbox. It's got 10, 10 speeds. Correct. So, and I've, you've got flappy paddles over here so you can change the gears manually as well. Correct. On the downshifts at least, does it, re does it match the revs oh. for you? Yes, it does. It's, okay, if you're in normal driving or wet, it won't. It's like a normal automatic gearbox. It will just shift down nicely for you. But if you do go to your Sports Plus and your track, it actually does do that. Okay. Okay, so why don't we take both cars for a run along Clarence Drive? Uh, sounds nice. Oh. I'm just really enjoying how rigid it actually feels. Yeah. I like that. But it's it's not like you don't feel like it's shattering your spine, you know. <laughs> he drives it like a hoon, eh? What a noise, man. Whoa. <laughs> that is something special. Oh, man. Oh, man, that sounds good. That's heaven, eh? <laughs> what does it look like? Yeah, the, the, the 